Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture on uh, fullerene. The fullerene is nothing but a C60 molecule which has 60 carbon atoms in it bonded to each other. So in this lecture, we will see a discovery of carbon C60. It's a structure and it's symmetry. So the symmetry and the structure of carbon 660, it gives some unique properties to, to the molecule so, so that it has very uh, respective applications. It finds the respective applications because of the, its symmetry and uh, its structure. So, Carbon C60, it is an allotrope of carbon. It is a man-made. Now here, uh, the C60 is also known as fullerene because it, its structure resembles the uh, geodesic dome. This is made by uh, architect Buckminster Fuller. And uh, so carbon C60, it is also known as buckyball because you can see here in this figure, uh, each uh, carbon atoms are bonded and the molecule is formed. The shape of the molecule looks like a ball. Hence, uh, it is also known as buckyball. Now, in a fullerene compound or C60 um, compound material, we have different molecules. And uh, so each molecule is linked to another carbon C60 molecule by weak van der Waal forces. Whereas within the molecule, uh, the 60 or atoms within the molecule are strongly bonded. But whereas when it is about bonding to another uh, C60 molecule, those forces are weak. Now uh, coming to discovery of uh, carbon C60, uh, it was predicted by E.G. Osawa of Toyahashi University of Technology, Japan in 1970. So you can see how much uh, uh, recent discovery it is. It's only 50 years back that uh, carbon C60 was predicted. It was predicted, but not uh, uh, it's uh, so E.G. Osawa had predicted that a molecule of uh, can exist with 60 carbon atoms. So this was the prediction, but it was not. Uh, uh, it was not discovered. Like it was not uh, realized physically as a material. So then, it, in 1985, uh, Harold Croto, James Arheth, C. O'Brien, Robert Cole, and Richard Smalley, these uh, scientists from these researchers from Rice University. These people discovered C60 and they physically realized the material. They have shown uh, that uh, this material exists. And uh, they have discovered that while doing their experiments in the lab, in which uh, they were trying to create arc discharge using graphite electrodes. So they were using graphite electrodes and uh, they are trying to create arc discharge. In this process, they have. Uh, so accidentally, like unintentionally, this uh, they have uh, they have produced one material uh, in this experiment, and when that material is characterized by different characterization techniques, then it was came to know that uh, that is carbon C60. So they have found a black material getting deposited. Then it was analyzed using several techniques, including NMR, and uh, uh, and confirmed that it is a C60 molecule. And uh, so this NMR is a characterization technique. Uh, so this it can it, it showed that it is a C60 molecule, and uh, they have named this molecule C60 as fullerene. So it is in the honor of famous architect Buckminster Fuller. Uh, so as it resembles, as the molecule structure resembles the geodesic dome, that was uh, uh, Buckminster Fuller is the architect of that. 
and uh, they got the Nobel Prize in 1996 for discovery of carbon C60. And uh, so here he is uh, E.G. Osawa, whereas these are the group of scientists who have, he predicted the uh, existence of carbon C60, but uh, during the experiment, these people were actually able to uh, get the material uh, you deposited on the electrodes while they were trying to develop an arc discharge. So these people got Nobel Prize in 1996 for discovery of carbon C60. So ultimately the ones who had uh, physically realized had got the Nobel Prize. Whereas Ichi Osawa has predicted, but he is unable to produce or synthesize or show the existence of the material. Now, uh, when we look at the structure of carbon C60, uh, its structure is unique. Uh, so it is a truncated icosahedron. Uh, so this consists of 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons. So here we can see one pentagon and whereas this hexagon with six sides. So each molecules are bonded in this way. Now here each of the vertex represents a carbon atom. So as you can see, each of these is a carbon atom and uh, there are 60 vertices, hence so 60 carbon atoms in this molecule. And uh, so here every hexagon is surrounded by three other hexagons and three pentagons. So if we look at a one hexagon, it is surrounded by three pentagons, one here, uh, one here and uh, uh, one here. So, and the other one here and three hexagons, one hexagon here, one hexagon here and another hexagon here. So like that three hexagons and three pentagons surrounds every hexagon and each pentagon is neighbored by six hexagons. So if we take one pentagon like this, then we can see that all uh, here hexagon hexagon, 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 and likewise six, uh, six hexagons is, are the neighborhood of each pentagon. Now, each carbon atom is covalently bonded to three other carbon atoms by two single bonds and one double bond. So here, uh, each carbon atom, it is linked to three other carbon atoms. So now here, uh, see carbon has, carbon will form four bonds. So three, uh, one double bond and two single bond. So in that way, it forms four bonds. So the single bonds ha have sigma bonding, whereas one double bond has uh, you know, two bonds in which one is sigma bond and the other is pi bond. So here we can see the bonding of carbon. So each carbon is bonded to three other carbon atoms with two single bonds here, as you can see, and one double bond. Now the, so the orbitals are sp2 hybridized, that is 2s, 2px, 2py orbitals, these are sigma bonded, whereas 2pz uh, orbitals are pi bonded. So it is sp2 hybridization because 2p orbitals are sigma bonded and the 2pz orbital is pi bonded. Now, so C60 is a very stable structure based on the, it is very stable structure because of its uh, uh, arrangement of atoms, its structure and uh, its bonding. So like it's because of its symmetry and all, it's a very stable structure and uh, C60, it is in spherical shape uh, about one nanometer in diameter. Now here in C60, bond length of any two atoms are equal. So, and that is nearly equal to 1.44 Armstrong. So the distance between the two carbon atoms is uh, nearly equal to 1.44 Armstrong. 
Now let us look at the symmetry of carbon C60. So the symmetry is very important uh, because it it is a very it gives very uh, desirable properties for the for the material to be strong and uh, so so when there is symmetry then uh, the 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 compound will be more uh, rigid and it has very unique properties and it is very stable like uh, all types of symmetry operations are such as rotation around axis reflection about a plane inversion of a point these uh, three symmetry op operations are possible and uh, so coming to rotation around axis the first one there are three kinds of rotation axis possible like five fold axis so for five fold axis n is 5 so 360 by 5 is 72 degrees now for five fold axis passes through two pentagons facing each other so the five fold axis will passes through two pentagons facing each other and the number of pentagons as we know they are 12 hence number of five fold axis will be 12 by 2 that is passing to two pentagons 12 by 2 is 6 so there are six five-fold axes possible and the three-fold axis n is equal to three 120 degrees three-fold axis passes through two hexagons facing each other and as we know now number of total hexagons is 20 and number of three-fold axis equal to 20 by 2 is equal to 10. so here we here the knowledge of hexagons and pentagons uh, are useful to find the number of rotation axis possible so that uh, we can see how much uh, symmetrical the molecule is. Next two fold axis that is 360 by 2 180 degrees and uh, two fold axis passes through the edges between the two neighboring hexagon. So there are 30, 30 such edges in the molecule that is uh, edges between two neighboring hexagons. Hence, the number of two fold axes is 30 by 2. Now, so the reflection planes are also passes through the edges between the two neighboring hexagons. Hence, the uh, number of mirror plane is 15. So, here uh, we have two fold axis 15, and uh, number of mirror planes also 15 because each reflection plane passes through edges between the two neighboring hexagons similar to two fold axis. And the number of reflection symmetries is 15 because number of mirror plane is 15. So center of molecule corresponds to inversion symmetry. So likewise, because of, so in the same manner, there are different uh, symmetry operations possible. The, so the total number of symmetry operations are 120. So here already we have seen six uh, plus 10, 16 and uh, 31. 31 plus 15, 46, and still there are uh, like 74 other uh, symmetry operations possible. So total will be 120 different symmetry operations possible. Hence, uh, the C60 molecule is highly symmetrical and uh, highly stable. So this is a very desired property of carbon C60. So, so this is all about carbon C60 and fullerene molecule. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, please write in the comments. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.